Hi guys, we Bob here, and this is my Friday Foursome response to Novabug. It is four games that you're ashamed to admit that you've never played. Now, my list consists of games that I would have played or think I would have played, and not necessarily the most famous games. Um, one example would be Zelda Ocarina of Time, which is hailed as a great game. I've never played it. I actually know nothing about that game, so you could say I'm ashamed about that one, but it didn't make my list because it's not a game that I think I would have played. So it's kind of like what I'm ashamed I haven't played, according to what I like to play. Um, so I, Monkey Island is number four on the list. They're kind of in chronological order. Uh, Monkey Island's a game, um, a kind of RPG back in the Amiga. I didn't have an Amiga back in the day. I didn't have an Atari ST, which I believe is the platform they were on. And it just looks like the kind of game that I would have loved back when I was younger, because I liked Broken Sword and that type of stuff. I really quite enjoyed them when they first appeared on the systems. So why? That's number four. Number three is um, what apparently is credited with being the introduction to first person shooters and that is Wolfenstein. I have never played any of the Wolfenstein franchise whatsoever. I have seen it being played, I've heard Dean Thompson talk about it, but me personally I have never played Wolfenstein. So. I, again, there's not much that I can say other than the notes to do with trying to, I don't know whether the world, Second World Wars took like a different route and Hitler has defeated the world, something like that, I don't know. So yeah, it's kind of a shame that I haven't had a shot to play it and it was one of those games I would have played probably because of um, Doom. I loved Doom and uh, I loved Call of Duty back in the day when it first was kind of an appearance and aye so second on my list third on my list I always remember whether I go backwards or forwards but the next one on my list is Bioshock I've never played any of the Bioshock games and again they're, they're kind of critically acclaimed and this one's kind of a surprise for me because I love underwater I love games based in water I love games based underwater I love movies based underwater anything to do with water ocean sea is, is, a, is something I just love so yeah I think this one fell off the list because it's horror, um, and I, I would love to go and play it. I think maybe one day I will, um, when I'm not busy drawing stuff. But I, um, Bioshock is is one of those games that I should have played and and haven't. Um, fourth on my list, first on my list, one of the way round. Is The Last of Us, and I should have played The Last of Us. I've watched the whole game all the way through, somebody else playing it. I've got it on PlayStation 4 as I do with Bioshock, and I just have never played The Last of Us, even though that genre of apocalypticness is something that I really, really love. Mad Max, I've played recently, and I just absolutely loved Mad Max, but. I so for some reason I've not played The Last of Us and it is such a famous game, it's such an emotional game and I've got such an urge to play it, it's just whenever time is allowable I'm either making a video, I'm either drawing something and I'm either working and gaming time is just almost zilch at the moment but I've got all these games sitting here so that maybe one day when I decide to just chuck in doing all the other stuff and make time to play games these are the kind of games that I would be looking to kind of be unashamed and bring myself back to having played them I'd had a shot at them at least to see whether I like them but yeah that's my Friday foursome list I don't know how it'll be compared to other people's uh, that'll be interesting to have a wee look and see who's put up responses uh, so I cheers thank you very very much to Novabug for doing this series this is what got me into YouTube to begin with. The ability for somebody to ask me a question and for me to give them a response gave me the drive to get out into my cabin at the time and set up the camera and just record me speaking and giving responses. So a big, big shout out to Novabug. His channel's obviously grown much, much bigger than mine and he's doing great for himself. He's got consistent content and he's just such a, a nice guy. So I... Um, Big shout out to Novabug for, for these and this one's been a bit of a short one. I hope everybody has a great year um, and I hope it gets better for everybody. Uh, all the best wishes from me and cheers guys and wee Bob is out.